Rappin' with Reef Bum is sponsored by Polo Reef and Champion Lighting and Supply. So I got a question for you guys. Uh, Fen Bender's all collateral damage. Hmm. Should we yeah. be concerned about that? Because um, you're you're nuking pretty much, um, you know, any uh, type of tube worm. Uh, you know, the flatworms, I guess, are um, are getting it. But um, you know, I've got like a lot of um, different. Uh, feather dusters and and um you know i guess people use fen ben for the uh vermited snails too because they're uh there can be quite uh, irritating to corals in terms of throwing out their webs so you know i think people are using fen ben dissolve for both the aquarating flatworms and vermited snails but should we be concerned about the collateral damage it always seems like you know when you're treating something in a reef tank there is going to be some sort of domino effect. And, um, you know, how concerned should we be about those dominoes falling on something else? There seems to be a big residual effect for like soft tissue corals, uh, mm -hmm. softies in general. I've seen, again, it's always hard to pinpoint things directly, but I've seen tanks where we've used fenbendazole and the rock can absorb fenbendazole to a degree. And if you take that rock and you put that in a tank with certain softies, it tends to leach out and you can actually kill softies in a tank with rock that was initially treated. So again, there's definitely <laughs> high risk if you have softies. Again, there may be some risk with the acros, but again, there is massive residual effects. And it appears that even if you wash the rock, there is still some fenbendazole again, if it's depending if it's binding to the outside of the rock, if it's going within the rock, if it's porous. But We've seen many, many cases of moving the rock, and it still kills certain types of softies. Yeah, actually, there's a, a one uh, one example. There's a guy actually I know that he bought a used tank, so so also as as well as a rock on, on in there. No matter what, he cannot keep any soft coral, and he loves mm -hmm. soft coral. And I said, well, ask the seller if he actually uh, ever treated the tank with fenbendazole. Then he asked, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow! Yeah, he 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 cannot keep soft corals. So, oh, because the rock goodness. has it. Yeah, because the rock has it, and you and stay we, there for a long time. And which species have you seen um, affected the most? I mean, mostly the clove polyps and things clove like polyp that. And toast uh, star polyps, cinealaria. Oh, really? Yeah. Even the letters too. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah, yeah, the finger letter. They all get affected. It, it, it's like a. <clears throat> Yeah, we, yeah, we've had some of the, the hitchhiking nuisance ones pop up in between some of the zoas that we had brought in. And we had done some spot treatments at higher doses to eliminate those. And zoas seem to bounce back. It stresses them out, but they seem like they can handle it fairly well. Um, but we never really had the need to treat a whole system with that stuff um, in mm -hmm. the farm. So I hadn't really seen that firsthand. So that's interesting to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very the um, long-lasting effect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really drive that guy crazy. <laughs> Even uh, Xenia and stuff like that. Oh, every soft goro that he wanted to give is all dead. Oh, yeah. So he was thinking about heavy metal poisoning. He's thinking about he check all his equipment. He's thinking that his heater is broken, but nothing. Uh, and uh, for matter of fact, I, I gave him some SPS, and the SPS does pretty well. Then I said, "Well, ask the seller that who, wh where you bought that thing from." That, that does he actually treat the tank with fenbendazole? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It turned out to be the case. The well, kill of crow polyps. More reason to have multiple tanks, right? There <laughs> yeah, you go. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Not linked together, though. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. 